everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Catherine, this is Lacey's Movies, and we are back with the next episode of Young Justice Called Her Edition. And I was very convinced at the beginning of last episode that it was going to be pretty much all Arion backstory. I was wrong. And I'm probably wrong because Arion is a clone. And clones don't have backstories, they're born in tubes. Or, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a clone. And the only person with access to Arion's DNA is most likely Vandal Savage, and that is potentially part of whatever mysterious oper Operation Thranos, Thranos, Thanos, something that he name dropped in one of the post credits earlier. And it just, it makes a lot more sense because when they were talking about Arion's lost crown and he was like, ah, oh, well, it's lost to time, 12,000 years, no one has ever found it. One, that's crazy, but two, why wouldn't he have gotten it? Like, if he's immortal and he rose from the dead, even if it took him a little bit of time to recover from the head situation, a week, two weeks, a month, he'd be able to find that crown. He had 12,000 years. So it makes a lot more sense that he is a uh, clone systemically deployed to uh, cause a little havoc amongst the Atlanteans. Why? I don't know. Uh, we have not had really any time with our villains this season, so we have... I mean, if there's anyone who could figure out their plan by now, God bless A plus in TV analysis, because I surely do not know. What we did get a lot of last episode instead was uh, Beast Boy's intervention, which was very funny. <laughs> I was very tickled. I don't think that was the intention, but hey, I had a good time, which is better than I can say for most of Beast Boy's scenes. So a win is a win. Uh, we also got a lot of Connor, um, trying to jump, eventually feeling hopeless, falling into a weird blackout depression, and having nightmare hallucinations. Yay! Um, so presumably we'll learn a little bit more about this little phantom realm via the nightmare hallucinations, and or the same way he's been carting phantom girl around, someone's gonna come upon him and be like, oh no, he's fallen into the void, and we gotta save him from stuff. And when we go back under the sea, the Atlanteans are kind of verging on the cusp of civil war at the return of their lost king, and Calder is going spelunking, uh, looking for more evidence as to this mysterious Arion, whether or not his backstory holds any validity. I don't know. I'm assuming they're going to find the crown. Because after 12,000 years, they're going to find it in one episode, and that's just how this show works. Could get a lot of Calder focus, or we could randomly spend a lot more time with Connor and uh, Beast Boy again. Fingers crossed for the former, although I am not very hopeful. But on that note, let's get started. What is Vandal <laughs> Savage up to this time? Here you go, smart man. I am not a clone. <laughs> That's what a clone would say. He is telling the truth. Or at least believes he is. I'm fairly confident. You poor bastard. Are we allowed to say bastard on Basic Tell? I mean, I guess it's on Max. HBO Max. Max Original. Real? You say you remember the times I visited you here. Of course I do. Except I never did. I visited the prison, a matter of public record, but I never came to your cell to see you. I was still too angry. He's like a matter of public record that he visited the prison, which... That it's like, okay, well, who provided the memories for this Orn programming? Because clearly they didn't have that much access if they just had to assume he actually visited, but they weren't in the prison to confirm that. Oh, I don't know what game you are playing, but it will not work. Sorry. Let us know when you are ready to face the truth. I am not a clone! I mean, I guess it's kind of comforting that whoever gave the Orm information didn't have that much access because it means they're not that highly ranked, which is good when you're looking for a spy, <laughs> that they're not like in your secret inner chamber. That forehead is crazy. It has been weeks and still they chant his name. <laughs> I should have this so-called Aryan arrested for treason. <laughs> what? How is it treason to exist? <laughs> You're gonna, cause he at no point incited this rebellion. These are all the, his own supporters due to the prophecy that you've been clearly rooting for. 
You have plotted my overthrow for years, sowing the seeds of this current crisis to both our rules. <laughs> the one true king that fulfills the prophecy. Or he's a clone. Be fulfilled without Arian's lost crown. A definitive answer to the question of rule is impossible. You know, actually, it would serve their interest to not find the crown. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, why are they sending out a mission to? Unco oh wow. Hear that? Look. They've it. been down there for a minute. He's got a beard. Or maybe it's been two days. I don't know how fast his hair grows. We've been down here ducking and dodging these thermal vents for weeks. What have they been eating? Beard. Coral is due to give birth soon, assuming she hasn't already. If we don't find the damn crown soon... Lagan, no one forced you to accept this assignment. Either you are here 100%, or you need to swim away. That's some mad hater energy. He's gonna miss the birth of his first child. He can't, like, complain a little bit? Because Calder's like, I wouldn't complain, so you're not allowed to. Do not take it too hard, my friend. His words are harsh, but I know. I just wish I had his strength sometime. You shouldn't. He's gonna have emotional breakdown. I'm exhausted, and has been for some time. Plus, the death of Connor Kent has hit him particularly hard. Of course. <sighs> for years, I held a grudge against Connor. A petty, immature grudge. I never made amends. Really? It's been like a decade, and you're still like, when we were 18, I dated him again. <laughs> like, yes, you were a rebound, but that's a weird thing to hold in for a decade. I'm afraid it is only a matter of time before all that he keeps buried rises up to overtake him. I hope that's now. He's been holding it in for a decade on this show. Can we have a little bit of a break here? An emotional release. The diamond in the rough. <laughs> stuff, my stuff, my stuff is so shiny. Emissary Coral of Neptunos is not in attendance. Uh, she is in labor, your highness. Aw. Sorry, Lagan. And in her absence, she has granted me her proxy. Well, we all presume this meeting would end with a vote. A vote? For what? For High King of Atlantis. But why? Has Arion said he wanted to be the High King? Look like he chewed. You're fine. This is why we haven't found the crown. Atlantis's original capital sank even deeper by the gods. Whoa. Oh. Someone was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, yeah. I wonder who she or he was. Arion. There is powerful magic in these ruins. This way. Like I said, crown's been missing for twelve thousand years. Finds it in one episode. Together, we should be able to triangulate the source. Look under the head. And then under the skull under the head. Crown. Is that it? That must be it. Arian's crown. The crown of prophecy. It feels like bringing that back to the surface, so to speak, just invites a lot more problems. Pretty. It's a good day we're red. Good contrast. Horan, are you there? Do you hear me? Am I a clone? I want the truth. That is all any of us want. Why does the clone have eye bags? Is he sleep deprived? Could they only, did they miss the genes for whatever this part was? I can take you back to your first true memory. He's awake. <clears throat> the force growth is almost complete, yeah. but he's seen us. Make certain Simon erases this memory. Kind of feel bad for clones being so sure you are who you are just to find out you are not who you are but perhaps for the sake of atlantis i must once again <laughs> fine i'll be king if i have to i certainly don't want the job it's just everything's such a mess wouldn't it be easier if i just did the noble thing and became king <laughs> Lord Arian, on the other hand, has rallied everyone around him by twice saving Atlantis, and he seems to fulfill the prophecy. That is secondary. Let us face the truth. The people are on the verge of open. I still don't like this guy's face. In control over our own city-state, we must elect Arian High King. 
Both subjects have received the side bag transfer. That's so weird. I mean, shout out to the people. I guess I support it. You're in charge of your own government, but <laughs> they're really like, they do not know this man. May proceed. Project Thrynos, there it is. Ocean Master. I don't, maybe that Arion is a clone is supposed to be shocking, but once we confirmed that Ocean Master was, we knew that. And our kingdom to someone you know almost nothing about. Exactly. I appreciate all Arian has done, but to even contemplate giving him the crown. They need to go like people in the street. I will ask every single person individually. You want to <laughs> crown a person you have never met, heard of, hasn't given one speech. Not a single 8, 8 p.m. Central Time debate. Just, yeah, sure. And as Emissary Coral's proxy, I say I on her behalf as well. I. Well, at least he's powerful. I. Nay. Six votes for Arian. One for Nereus. Even without my vote, the result is foregone. Arian is High King. Y'all are a silly billy type of people. This is crazy. Also, no one thought he was a clone? Once you knew Ocean Master was a clone, who else would have his DNA? <laughs> Being the first of the Homo Magi and an immortal, his body will have a substantial affinity to magic, considerably more substantial than your previous body, Orm. For that, you have my undying, literally undying Wait. gratitude. You understand why we have- Oh crap! Original Ocean Master is in Arion's body! Now that's a plot twist! Accepted tentatively. Ah! And achieve everything I have ever dreamt of. Thank you. You will need to memorize everything you know ah! about Arian's life. In addition, your training with Wotan is paramount. In the past, you were too reliant on Neptune's trident. Is that not? I literally said that. I was like, wow, he drops a trident. This man's useless. He will be pre-programmed to lose to you and draw suspicion his way. The puppet will end up in prison or dead. No longer of any use or concern. Okay, but wouldn't Arion know that What's-His-Face never visited him? Like... I must inform the I would talk about the, late. uh... Again, it's public knowledge that Orin visited the prison 16 times, but Ocean Master... The actual man should know that he never saw his brother. Yeah, remember what I said about bringing the crown back just causes more problems? Their dumbasses are about to be like, Hi, Arion, here's the crown. He's like, I've got some anger to work off. Um, oh, okay. You can't eat us if we're riding it, right? Well, generally, that's how that works. Hold on! I already made a shape of water joke, but I mean, it's right there. <laughs> but, shape of water. Y'all saw it. Not, oh my god! I just realized I've been saying shape of water. I meant the way of water, which is a different thing. Shape of Water is what McGann was doing when she was dating Lagun. This <laughs> it's what Coral's been doing, and I have very a lot of anatomical questions that will not be answered by this children's television program. Here, your new old high king. With reluctance, I have <laughs> Oh no, I'm king! And return Atlantis to the glory of its forebear. Like McGann's gonna roll back and be like, he's a clone, but like they should have considered that beforehand. Oh no, no one would believe me. This is a response. Like, I just think you're a little slow for that. I feel like we should have tested. Started asking him some real questions about where he's been for 12,000 years. Calderon, I believe you have something that belongs to me. Oh, well, maybe you guys so should. Rest. Not put it on, brother. We are not brothers. We were never brothers. No one had a little mic on to just show that moment and be like, hey guys, Aaron wouldn't have said that. It just immediately kills him. 
Because, yeah, it's a gift from the Lords of uh, Order, so they should hopefully know that that's not their dude. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> nice. Also, everyone who just watched their crown prince disintegrate and they're gonna feel real awkward about it, learn your lesson. Don't just name every every third dude your new high king because he looks familiar. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> I nominate Orin. <laughs> Onyx Orin, my husband, is your true high king. Are they gonna start cheering because they're freaking Muppets? I am not. The king that was foretold. What twist? Queen Mira, who fulfills the prophecy, prophecy clearly states, when best of these gains Arium's crown, our one true, true king best revives of renown. Can anyone doubt that Mira Nereus is the best of those three? Can anyone doubt that Mira Nereus is the best of us all? I feel like they did the Game of Thrones thing where it's like, oh, the prince that was promised. It's like, well, actually, in High Valyrian, that's a gender neutral term. No, Warren, no. Let us be honest. The crown, any crown, never sat easily upon my head. Okay, so he's gonna become Aquaman and Calder's gonna get demoted and finally just have a breakdown. It is as it must be, my love. I like Mira as we've seen her, so I'm not gonna complain about this, but it is very like. Oh, this would mean so much if I'd had any real screen time with her. But she is sick, and I like her sorcery, it is time so. For our long I'm with it. To end. Atlanteans, all Atlanteans, must be reunited as one people. And you know what? I admit it, I was wrong earlier. I said that it was going to cause more problems, but it just immediately murdered Orm, which was very funny. And that worked out. You are a bunch of guppies, and I am judging you as a community, but I do like the way that they say Hey, even that dude is really happy about this. Ugh, all of these underwater shots are gorgeous. He was a total badass. Calder has training, talent, and natural instincts. Of course he's a badass when necessary. But I fear he will use this success as another excuse not to rest. He's like, no, I'm not even stressed out, because look, I'm still, still ready to party. I will there it is! The there it is! I will, of course, relinquish the title of Aquaman. If the League can include four Greenlanders <laughs> and two Flashes, I believe it can <laughs> Good embrace point. two Aquaman. Or three. Okay, so I was wrong a little. Really? Again. This has not been a good episode for me. And it is a relief it happens now, as I have decided I must take a leave. It's actually house. terrible timing. He literally just had a baby. Aww. But like he like truly has a newborn, just had a baby. This is not a great time to become Aquaman. Two, three. But even then, as much as I'm happy about this ending, it's like my son. I would. It's very you funny. Should hardly be surprised at the result, father. Oh hey, the Lords of Order would Tana. never have allowed their crown to be used by your agent. Then they are fools. Our new story begins. One without Vandal Savage. <laughs> He actually did just come to gloat. <laughs> Ooh. It's done. Your mind is now clear of all programming. That's so awkward though, cause like, he's still kind of Orm, but he didn't do anything wrong really. Cannot be held responsible for the crimes of the original Orm, nor for crimes committed while your mind was enslaved by the light. Your slate is clean. But like, does he remember being his brother at all? Cause he's basically just a dude. You know where to find me, brother. Not quite, but kind of. And also, like, what is he gonna do? Swim around the ocean? Like he's not ocean. Like everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my God, Ocean Master!" <laughs> it's not like he can just like walk into Ocean Publix. But truthfully, I find I have been holding a great deal inside okay. for a very long time. I failed you, an animal. Beasts. That's who I am. They were babies. And now I've killed them. Oh wow, he like genuinely thinks he did this. You're like 
in the void. How would you have done that? And if you had continued to be in this hallucination, I'd be like, okay, sure, but... Help me! Please! Like, you're literally in the void. Why would you think, yeah, Superman's here? I'm losing my mind. Oh, now you're losing your mind? Red Sun. Interesting. Carrie Payton wrote this episode? Ooh, that's upsetting, because I have concerns about it. But still, most of the episode was good. So many of my teammates have paid the price of my hubris. Why do they keep spelling hubris like that? Jason is dead. Wally is dead. How is that on you? Literally none of those are on you, my dude. I must come to terms with. Yes, but they're truly not your I fault. To return to the life I have led. Child, Black Canary, you got work to do, girl, cause... Ooh, that complex is... rough. Everything wrapped up very nicely, which, you know, as per usual with this show. Um, some concerns, for example, how come they gave me... <laughs> Ooh. They spent so much of the show ignoring Calder. They finally set up this fact that like what we already knew was that he had this like crippling sense of responsibility and it's like building, building, building. He's eventually gonna break, right? He cannot keep all of this on his shoulders and remain a put together person. It doesn't work. We have been seeing that to some degree with Beast Boy. The fact that in his own intervention, everyone's like, we need you. And it's like, I don't want to be needed. Screw off. Which is exactly the energy I wanted for Calder. But instead, he doesn't have like a moment where like, yeah, at the end, he's just like, ah, uh, I think I want to take a leave of absence. But it's not even like something they've really addressed up until this very episode he's been saying i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine actually you know what maybe i do need a break which is like the healthy way to process it i guess but is it realistic no it's the thing you do because you don't give him enough screen time so we're just cutting to the end and guess what he's fine now he realizes he needs a break i hate that but i actually really enjoyed the rest of the episode <laughs> <laughs> i can't solve the fact that everyone in atlantis is you know thinks that women in lakes handing out swords is a viable form of government. I can't solve that. So with what it was, the fact that fine, he won, Arion won, Arion, um, everyone wants to crown him king. They finally find the lost crown, which if you're anything like me, you spend the entire episode going, oh no, this is a terrible, like the plan's going to succeed. He's going to get the crown. He's going to take over. Da 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 da. Oh wow. It killed him instantly. <laughs> That was great. The fact that I just thought it was a clone of Arion, but no, it's actually Orm in Arion's body, which then there's some questions about, did they like copy paste his psyche before they beheaded him? Was that just something they keep on file for like all of the, you know, the board members? Cause I mean, I guess that would make sense. Like every once in a while, copy your brain just in case something happens. But um, yeah, that was a good plot to us. I also liked that they were like, you understand why we had to kill you? And he was like, yeah, that was my bad. Okay, I went a little too far. <laughs> I think to apologize for your own murder is very funny. <laughs> it's like, I did deserve it. So that's, <laughs> that's that. Yeah, so Carrie Payton, like solid 8.5 out of 10. The thing that I didn't like is the thing that I don't think it's like a single episode writer could not have solved. This is literally four seasons of Calder related complaints that they just could, like they could have theoretically solved it in this entire arc, but with the time allotment that Calder as a person got, it couldn't have been done. So you know what? I guess I have to give them credit that at least the episode ends with Calder taking a little bricky break. But, oh God, that's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Actually, I am gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit of absence because my boyfriend and my new potential girlfriend, maybe? I don't know if any of you watched Sense8, which speaking of other shows that upset me with the way they ended, um, <laughs> But lots of thruples, they just give me very much like Leto, Hector, and Daniela energy. I just, I'm, I'm really into it. I feel like it was, a, it, was a, it was a pretty like straightforward episode. Like, okay, the people have been in open revolt for weeks. Uh, guess we're gonna crown Arion. Surprise! We figured out that the Ocean Master we have is a clone. Let's find his earliest memory in which he saw that Arion is a clone and is actually Ocean Master in Arion's clone's body. And they're looking for the crown so that under 
uh, Vandal Savage will have brought the ocean to heal under his control, which I guess is the entirety of Operation Three Nose, which I think the most interesting part of this episode is that we have truly never ever seen Vandal pissed, right? Like he's had his plans be like inconvenience and pretty much every time he's like, eh, like it's a drawback, but I have 17 contingencies. We'll just do this the long way. Not even, not even a worry, right? And this is the first time we have seen him pissed off. Like his plan was foiled and he's not, he's not chill about it. He's not relaxed. There clearly was not a contingency for this. He does not have seven backup plans on how to bring the you know ocean under his control. And he's pissed. And I like that because in, most characters, when the bad guy gets that angry, it's like, oh, they're gonna mess up now because they're mad and they're not gonna think as purely and critically as they normally do. With a character who's a thousand years old, or more than a thousand years old, several thousand years old, uh, you would think he wouldn't make that same type of mistake because, I mean, you know, I feel like several millennia gives you the experience in controlling your emotions and, you know, not letting it interfere with your strategy. But considering the season is winding down, they could be going in that direction. Like this is the first time we've seen this like continuously calm and strategic dude absolutely frazzled. And so this is gonna be the moment where he slips up. He makes a little mistake and that's something the team can take advantage of. I don't hate it. Again, like I said, so we're nearing the end of the season. Something needs to happen with Vandal and with the overarching plan with the light. But, you know, with that addendum that traditionally with a character this old, you would think they would overcome some of those normal weaknesses. But anything that keeps the plot moving forward at this point, I'm just going to say I like it. And he was genuinely scary. Credit to the animators. I guess all that money that they saved doing PowerPoint presentations for the rest of the <laughs> closing credits, they finally, like, they got some drama in it. And what else? Connor. Yes. Connor. Uh, seems to genuinely believe he's killed Clark, which does not make sense because he's, this whole time, he's been clearly conscious that he's either dead, already gone insane, or he's in some multi-dimensional realm, right? And so if those are your only options, there is no way you've killed Clark. And I guess you could say, well, that's the power of the realm, the hallucination, that he truly believes it. But... I don't know. I, I feel like it's weird. Like in my head, I thought it was going to be he like passes out and that he's going to go into the same like comatose state as Phantom Girl. And that's where, yes, if in this realm and in, within his own mind, he is convinced that he's killed Clark and he's done all of this, then yeah, sure. But he's conscious now. He can see around him. Because it's like, if you have a terrible dream, within that dream, you believe that what is happening in that dream is real. Like, you're being chased, you're being eaten by a shark, whatever. Your heart is, pull, you know, your heart is racing, you're scared, the, your hormones are shooting, just like, as though it were real. Then you wake up, it's the middle of the night, you're in your bedroom, and it's like, oh, okay. So, he, the fact that he hasn't had that moment is a little weird to me. And also, you know, fun with time travel, now we just see the bus go through, which we saw several episodes ago, and he's like, help. Um, and we know that Tatana saw him, so I guess now the question is going to be, are they going to now do an arc where we kind of bring people together to save Connor? But in which case, it would be like Zatanna and McGann, really, because like Artemis, love her to bits, don't know what she's going to do when it comes to, you know, multi-dimensional space realms, and Connor, not Connor, and Calder just went on vacation, much needed, mind you, but... So that means maybe we're gonna get like a Zatanna McGann shared arc, or maybe we're suddenly gonna pay attention to Rocket. Seems unlikely. Where was this? episode 17? I guess there's theoretically episode space for like two more arcs, like one mini Rocket arc, and then like a full six part, like final of the show bringing everyone together arc. I mean, we could even get a formal Nightwing arc. So we haven't gotten, then that seems more plausible than a Rocket arc. So yeah. Not really sure where we're going with that, but I guess we will see. For the most part, I did genuinely enjoy this episode. It's We spent the most direct time underwater, which is what I wanted from this arc. Um, I wish we'd also spent that much direct time with Calder, but you know, take it where I got it. I thought a lot of the animation was actually really gorgeous in this episode. I loved all the underwater shots. Um, and Mira's queen now, good for her. Again, 
I don't really know her like that, but I like her from what I've seen. She seems nice. And Oren didn't seem to be enjoying being king. So it's one of those things where it's like, my wife is the best queen, da 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 da. But also, I kind of hate it here. Peace out. So good for him. It's a win win. That's all I have for this one, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. All of those good things. They make me very, very happy. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I so really, really appreciate you. Um, again, this is normally where I plug the social media formerly known as Twitter, but my God, it makes me angry just to think about. So you know what? Ignore that. Just comment again. Give me two comments. It'll make me happy. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.